Hi guys, this is Mary. Welcome back to Cards TV. Today we're going to do card number 11 in the 12 Days of Christmas card series. We'll be using the Wild Card cartridge and the Jolly Holidays cartridge. And for the sentiment, we'll be using the Cards TV Holly Jolly stamp set. This is back in stock now, guys, as well as many of the other Christmas, Fall, and Halloween sets that were sold out, but they're back now. And you can pick them up this weekend only for $9.99 in the rain check sale that we're having over at cardstvstamps.blogspot.com. It's for two days only, guys. So if you're interested in any of those sets for $9.99 while supplies last, you need to hop on over and check it out. So that's what we'll be using today. We're going to use From Our House to Your House and Merry Christmas. I'll get this out of the way and we'll get started on our card. In the wild card cartridge on page 43, I found this card with a cutout oval in the front. It's also got a liner for the front and a cute little oval scalloped frame. So I cut this out at six and a quarter inches because guess what guys? It'll fit in one of these sized envelopes that you can get for like a dollar. That one right there. And I think if I don't pop anything up on this card, I can probably mail it with one stamp. So that's what I'm going to try. So this was cut at six and a quarter inches. Now the Cricut puts little tick marks where you're supposed to score and fold. So I'm just going to follow that little mark right there and get this scored. And we'll fold this in half. And then we'll take our bone folder and get a good crease on that. So you can see that this will indeed fit in this envelope. I'm just thrilled about that. Now, I also cut the liner out of this blue and white snowflake paper, and this is from a very old stack. It was a die cuts with a view, but I've had it for ages. But this was also cut at six and a quarter. I'm going to adhere this to the front, and then I cut this little oval scallop frame that goes around that, also out of that same red. This was also cut at six and a quarter. I'm going to go ahead and get this adhered down, and before I put the frame, I'm going to put my uh, liner on the inside and go ahead and stamp my sentiment so it shows through right there. So I'll go ahead and get this adhered down, and we'll come back and do some stamping. Now I've got my front panel adhered down. And for the inside, because this is where my sentiment's going to go, I've cut a piece of white cardstock by three and an eighth inches this way and six inches this way. I'm going to get this adhered to the inside, and then we're going to stamp the sentiment. Okay, now I could take a pencil and just very lightly mark the oval and then stamp it like this. But I don't get it very straight when I do that. So I'm going to try to just go ahead and stamp it right there with it closed up and see if that'll work. I hope so. So let me get my stamp on my stamp press. I've got some Memento Tuxedo Black ink and we're going to see if I can do this. So I'm getting out from Our House to Your House and Merry Christmas from the Holly Jolly Stamp Set. Now I want From Our House to Your House to go right there. And then when they open it right below that I want to have Merry Christmas. Just like that. But I'm not going to try to stamp it all at the same time. So we'll just put this Merry Christmas right over there. And that looks pretty straight. So keep your fingers crossed for me, guys, or I'll be starting this card all over again. <laughs> and I do want to make sure it's straight. That looks pretty straight to me. So I'll go ahead and get it on my stamp press. 
and I've got my little foam mat underneath. We'll get it inked up and we'll see if I can do this. I hope so because I don't want to have to start all over again. Let's see if I can get it to stay down. Okay guys, here we go. Yay, it worked. That looks pretty good from our house to your house. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean my stamp and get my Merry Christmas stamped and then we'll be done with the stamping on this card. I'll go ahead and put Merry Christmas on here. And I can open the card up for this because I want to make sure I get below that oval. Right about there. And that leaves me plenty of room down here to write my name or any other greeting that I'd like to, to add to my card. Get that one straight. Now, let's hope I get this right. And I am doing this looking over a camera, guys. So, this is a miracle that I'm able to do this. Yay! It worked! Well, I am very happy with that. There we go. Now, I'll show you what's going on here next. Let me get all this cleaned up. Okay, I used some two-way glue, and I went ahead and added that little scalloped oval frame to the front. Love the way this is going. Now, from the Jolly Holidays cartridge, and I don't actually own this cartridge, guys. Not the physical cartridge, but I do have it in my Cricut Explore design space. So, I wanted to put a little house on the front, and I found this one with a reindeer on the roof, and it is so stinking cute. Now, I did cut it with my Cricut Explorer, but you can cut this with your Cricut Expression as well. And, I used the Print Then Cut feature, but you can see it's only got four layers, so if you wanted to cut it out and piece it together, it's real simple to do. But, I'm in a hurry, because I'm behind. <laughs> So, I have gone ahead and used the print then cut feature. It's so cute. Look at that reindeer on the roof. It's so cute. And there's his little footprints going up there. There's lots of snow all over the little house. Now, in the design space, I cut this at 3.51 by 2.4. So, I'd say you'd probably want to cut this. See, that's three and a half this way. I would try it at three and a half, and that's probably about right if you're using your Cricut Expression. And I wanted to have something sparkly down here for snow, so I took some glitter paper, and I've cut this piece. It's three quarters of an inch of an inch wide by I think it's three and a quarter. Yeah, three and a quarter long. I'm going to get this adhered right down here. And I'm not going to pop my little house up because I want to be able to mail this with one stamp. So I'm going to attach that right down there. And isn't that cute? I love it. So let me get all this adhered down. We'll come back and take a look at card number 11 in the 12 Days of Christmas card series. We are almost finished with the series, guys. Here's my finished card, and I think it turned out so stinking cute. I love this. Love that little reindeer on the roof. He's just so cute with his little footprints going up. Now, I adhered the bottom of my house to the glitter paper with some glue dots because it's hard to get most adhesive to stick to glitter paper, but glue dots seem to work really well. The rest of the house, I used two-way glue and my ATG gun. The two-way glue was under the reindeer because he's so small. I love him. He's adorable. So here we have, from our house to your house, Merry Christmas. Love this. Now I gotta get cracking and get some more of these done and get them in the mail. 
<laughs> but thanks so much for stopping by and spending some time with me today, guys. I appreciate it so much. And I'll see you soon with card number 12, the last one in the series. So take care, everybody. I'll see you soon. Bye now.